Hi, I'm JP Suarez. Welcome to my vlog for my UPOU CWTS2 class. This is Milestone 1. Uh, I'm very blessed to be head of recruitment sourcing and employee engagement for a multinational call center. Uh, we have over 10,000 employees. Uh, seven of our sites are in Metro Manila. We have one site in Dumaguete, one site in Iloilo, and we also have a site in Nicaragua and a site in the U.S. So we have 10,000 employees, and something that we do every single year is called the CSR launch, where we launch a set of activities that's year long for corporate social responsibility. We've been doing this for over 10 years now. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic in 2020, we weren't able to have that activity. Um, it's really part of our company culture, and it's really part of our DNA, and I miss it and our employees miss it. Uh, and because uh, of my position in the organization, uh, I'm, a, I'm able to work with the CSR project lead and um, we push to have the event uh, done this year in 2021. Um, even though that it's a pandemic um, and even though that it's very, very difficult to volunteer, um, the education that I learned and the techniques that I learned for my CWTS1 class really inspired me. So um, that's what we wanted to do. Um, here is a short look uh, of what we did in 2019 for one of our beneficiaries. Uh, you'll see the whole, you can see the whole video uh, on the YouTube link that I'll put in uh, the thread below, okay? Um, but for now, here is me. Well, actually not me, but here is the video and you'll see me jumping around with the kids uh, right in the beginning of the video. So enjoy a short tidbit. I hope you enjoyed that short portion of our CSR video. If you'd like to see the entire video, please go to the link below. Now, currently, we are focused on speaking to different beneficiaries that we'll be able to volunteer with in this pandemic. We're speaking with Nayon Nang Kabataan, which is a PSWD sponsored orphanage in Mandaluyong that helps children from seven to 18 years old. We were their sponsor for the last three years, but we weren't able to help them last year. So we really want to try to find a way to help them this year. The only difficulty is we cannot go into their compound due to the pandemic. We're looking at starting a pen pal program as our volunteer work, where we write between an employee and one of their children to cheer them up, give them projects to keep them busy, something very productive. Some other beneficiaries we're thinking about working with are Make-A-Wish Philippines. Now, their main mission is to create life-changing wishes for children with critical illnesses. They accept do donations and they also accept volunteers. Another beneficiary that we're working with is Smile Train Philippines, who helps children with cleft lips. They're talking to us in donating for helping with the operation and also for our employees to volunteer training those who have finished their operation to be able to get a job with our company or other companies. Another beneficiary we're thinking about working with is Real Life Foundation. What they do is they give laptops and other gadgets to children from low-income housing to help them with their education. As a matter of fact, we got a referral from one of our very own CWTS2 students for Autism Society of the Philippines, who are looking for volunteers to work with their beneficiaries. So that's about it, my updates for Milestone 1. For Milestone 2, we should have already finalized our list of beneficiaries and have the mechanics down on how we are going to donate or how we will volunteer in the pandemic. Thanks very much.
Have a great day.